Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we're out here on the Savannah River. We're actually upriver, not up up. Well, we're about mid-river is what I like to call it. Um, I got Katie right here, and I got Bob, bro. What? What's where up? have you been, Bob? Hey, man. Uh, I gotta get on the... A lot of work going on, a lot of stuff going on, but you know, it's good to be back on the river, good to be back with my boy. Um, we're about to get some, so stay tuned. So yeah, boys and girls, we're about to make it happen. I'm gonna rig up a few rods and we're gonna get at it today. I think we're gonna catch some really good ones. Feels good to have Katie and Bob on the boat. We're just gonna have a good time today. And uh, like I said, try to catch some big ones. I think uh, we have an idea of what these fish are doing. The river is in a weird spot with the water level, but uh, like I said, I think we're gonna catch them. We're gonna all on out, just have a good time, and hopefully we'll all end up catching a lot of fish. So let's go ahead and hop into this one. Let's get it started. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna get this started today. Um, we're starting off right here on this little main river spot. It's got a big break in it, not too much current. And this is uh, what we're gonna start off with. I got me a little rage crawl, it's a simple little Texas rig. If you guys wanna check out any of Strike King's baits or any of the loose rods and get a discount on them, I'll have my codes and links down below. But let's see if we can get a couple fish in the boat really quick. I think I have an idea of what these bass are doing. It's just if they're gonna bite and if we find the right spots. So we're gonna have a good time today. Take a second to get used to. Dude, did you see that? You yeah, see my line? Yeah. Hammered it, bro. Just never ate it all the way. Dang, dude. I mean, that was a good bite. You just went thump, thump. That was it. Oh you got one? Big one? Oh, dude, that's a good one. Katie's got like a four pound. Get that net, get that net. Oh, that's a good one. Get him, Bob. Have a broken net, bro. Get him, bro. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Look at this, Katie. Got first fish. the first, dude. That's a monster. <laughs> good job. Let's go. Yeah, I think we'll put him in a live well. We might catch a few more big ones today. Get a cool picture. That's a good one, though. Good yeah, job. Give me he's some. He's a fighter. So chunky. That's a big boy, ain't he, Bob? Hey, hey, Bob. She's got the. She's got the lead right now. Did we say biggest fish or more, most fish? No, you said both counts. So. All right. Hey, 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 yeah. All right, guys. Well, Katie got the first fish of the day. We've been out here for this is our second, third spot we hit. We haven't been out here long, though. But first fish today, a dang good one. Three to four pounder. Okay. Oh, here he is. Broke me off, literally. I never retied this from that pond day. Dang, dude, that sucks. I feel like a good bite. What? You got one? Biggin? Oh, I think it's big. Huh? Wait, wait, hold up. Hold That's up. a seven-pound bass. Nice. Uh, You want, you want to do it? No. Should we just get to the next spot? <laughs> All right, that is not what we want. <laughs> well, it's got a souvenir. Oh my gosh! No, he's still on, I think. Dude, please still be on. Did you see yeah, how? Yeah, that was a big one, dude. Oh no. Oh, dude, I don't think he's on there. Son of a gun. That was a good fish, buddy. That thing went from there to here in like two seconds. I never saw him though, but he felt freaking big. So his big head. Oh, that sucks, bro. Yeah, that was a good one, dude. He's right there. His teeth marks all over it, too. 
Well, guys, we're still working around. I just had a good bite right there. That fish, right when I hooked that, he ran to the right like five foot. And uh, he just felt so heavy. And then he got me stuck in a tree and it came off. But the biggest thing that we're looking at is these main river spots that are have dead, no current. Seems to be where those fish are sitting in shallow spots, which is interesting. So like heavy, shallow cover, big lay downs. Seems to be where most of these fish are positioned. But we haven't had a ton of bites, but the bites that we have had, like Katie caught that first bass, and it was a dang good one. So I think that was another good one I just missed. I just, he was a strong fish. I couldn't do much. I think we'll have some more bites here soon. Holy cow, that's a mud. <laughs> I thought you had like a <laughs> yeah. eight pounder, dude. That was crazy. That was kind of terrifying to me. I don't know what I just did to my reel. I screwed up. What do we do with him? Come on, girl. You got no, it. No, please. I'm so scared of these things. Did you get hit? I'm not gonna lie. When you hook set into that and that thing started to come up, I seriously thought you had like a ten pounder. It's like a big boy. That's a big mud, like, I wanna see it. Yeah. That's a big. I know, I'm not That's it. That's a big boy. Is it just a backlash or is it like an actual knot? Oh! Dude, that's good. Is it mud? That sucker slammed it, dude. Gosh. <sighs> Felt like a miracle, dude. I haven't had a bite in so long just to feel that. It was like. That sucker was running, man, for a mud. That's crazy. I think it was, though. Uh, all right, guys. We are in a lake finally. We fished Main River this whole time. We had a few bites, man. Just. I don't know, <clears throat> nothing crazy. It just uh, been a little slow for us. Been out for about, let's say two and a half, almost three hours and it's just, I don't know, man. That main river wasn't happening. There was no lakes where we were fishing at. So we just decided to run up to one of these lakes just to give it a shot. See if we can put some fish in the boat and salvage the day. So that's kind of the plan. We got about an hour left, maybe a little over an hour. I think we're gonna end off in this lake and just put our heads down and see if we can put some good fish in the boat. So I will catch back up with y'all with a big fish. Biggin? Uh oh. Oh mud. Another mud? <laughs> you you know what's crazy? I have not caught many muds recently, and you've caught three today. And they're all <laughs> You got it? Let me see him. Is he big in? Ooh. Want me to get it? Yes, sir. Oh, he came off. Oh, good. <laughs> Gotta be one up in here. Oh, yep. What? I don't know. Today has been just a very weird day. I, 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 uh... <laughs> you put him on the hook. <laughs> Here we go. That's my first dang fish of the day. What in the world? Oh, is that mud? Oh, I got it. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. <laughs> He's huge, too. Dude, that sucker's big. Did you feel him thump it? No. Or he just was on there? He was on there. That was a big boy. Oh. <laughs> that was cool.
this one, Katie. Thanks. So we're out on the river the next day, guys. We're actually here on the Ogeechee River. I got Cody with me behind the camera and we're gonna be trying to catch some bass. We went out yesterday on the Savannah River. We didn't stay out there too long, but you know, we put in and we started fishing some water we never fished before. Started hammering some of those main river spots. And then right off the rip, Katie caught that big one, that big one. And I was like, dang man, it's gonna be good. We hit a lot of those other main river spots and we had a few bites. Like I lost one good fish, that one that I hooked and he just took off to the right like five foot and he got me hung up. But rather than that, it was just a tough day. I don't understand what those fish were doing. Um, there was no lakes around us. So we never got to fish any lakes until the end. Like 90% of the day we're on the main river. So now I'm like thinking in my head, it's like, man, did we mess up by staying out on the main river and maybe we should have went in the lakes. But then again, when we went back in the lake, we didn't really have any bass bites. So it was a tough day, but today's a different day. We're out on a different river and the water's looking spicy. I think it's gonna be good. We're gonna put our heads down and see if we can catch some great fish today. And more importantly, see if we can hook a couple really good ones out here for the Geech. And uh, all in out, just have a good time. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button. We're gonna hop right into it. Let's get it. <laughs> it, it had to happen, dude. It had to happen. That was a big one, bro. Yeah, it was. Oh, there he is. Looks like a decent one, dude. I can't tell. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, dude, I got me a freaking fat one. <laughs> yeah, nothing big, but hey, you got to start somewhere. More than I caught yesterday. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Look how fat that guy is, though. It's a little short, chubby dude. He's got that jerkbait hook. All weird. There we go. Look at that. It's our first fish of the day. Nothing big. He's a little chubby guy. Little fat short dude. We're probably gonna we're gonna end up doing we'll fish the spot for a little bit. I just want to hit it because the timing's right. See what we can catch here, and then we're gonna go hit like a bunch of different spots that we haven't hit in a while. I think we'll be able to catch them pretty good. River's already pretty low, so I think the bite's gonna be good. How do you eat it? You feel good? Yeah, he kind of loaded up on it. He didn't like slam it, just loaded up on that sucker. I couldn't tell if he was big or not. I saw those big boils. He felt kind of heavy, but he was just hooked all weird. Oh gosh. Dude, I got a good one, Cody. Actually. Dude, this is a big one, bro. Ooh, yeah, dude, this is a big one, bro. Might be four plus. He's fighting hard, too. This sucker is pulling, dude. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, buddy. Nice. It's a three pounder. Gosh. That sucker was fighting, man, and this current is on the rage crawl. Dang, rage crawl's catching him, man. Catches them good ones, I don't know why. Me and Cody were just talking about this the other day. Then we go on the river yesterday, and Katie caught that, that big one on a crawl, and we just got a good Ogeechee bass right there on a crawl, man. That was a good one. That sucker was fighting, too, man. That was a great fish. I thought he was four. He ain't four, though. He's a mid-three number. It's a fat fish, very healthy though. That's a nice bass to catch out here. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's a nice one right there, man. Pretty bass. There he goes. These fish living in this current are just a whole different animal. That's what I will say. 
fishing recently out here hasn't been as good as it was but the bites that we do get i feel like are bigger me and cody were talking about that yeah i've been seeing a lot of the bigger fish a lot of them three pounders high two numbers like you guys didn't see this footage or yeah you did see this footage but when we went out um with mac like we only caught a few but the ones that we caught were like good bass which is awesome to see what i found out about this place is like in the winter time when it starts to cool off i get a lot of really good fish out here so maybe that's, that's starting to transition over we're gonna start getting some bigger bass out here which is awesome <laughs> <laughs> There he is. Pretty good one, dude. Just pulled up to the spot, boys. All jerky. Mmm, little fat guy. Yeah, he ate that sucker too, man. He ate that thing good. That's a fat dude. That's a good fish. Nice, man. We had to move spots, came out here to some main river, just pulled up to this one and, and got this fat guy. Not a giant by any means, but that is a good, nice Ogeechee bass. Fat belly bass. Thank you, buddy. Look how small their mouth is on these fish, dude. You ever really thought about that out here? Their mouths yeah. are tiny. Mm -hmm. It's like they're not even large mouth. It's weird, man. They got like the mouth of a spotted bass in a large mouth's body. Yeah. <gasps> dude, that's a good one, bro. Oh yeah. That was crazy, dog. Right on the edge of that break. Another like three pounder. Yes. Bro. Let's freaking go, dude. Rage crawl, bro. He dove over it like a dang shark. So guys, we uh <laughs> we're out here right now. That's a freaking thick boy. I um so the tide just flopped around. So instead of the water pulling out, it's pulling in now. So it's reverse directions. I got some water on your thing. It's probably fine though. Mm -hmm. But uh, I pitched right by this tree right here and he just came over the top of it like that. And that's a good two and a half pounder right there. Maybe two and three quarters. That's a fat dude. <laughs> that is awesome right there. We're getting, we're not getting many bites today, but we've got some good ones. Some nice fish right there, bro. Ate it like a top water. There he goes. Nice. Let's get it, baby. What you think about that, Cody? Heck yes. Get it, dog. So, I was just thinking about something, man. What? I haven't worn my big bass energy in a while, and guess what's happening, brother? Catching three pounders back Catching to back. some good old Ogeechee bass. I'm just saying, if you guys want to check out any of the merch, link will be down below, kickingtheirbass.com. By the way, we got, everybody's been asking about the rods. They're coming very, very soon. We're about to start announcing everything, so stay tuned for that. I appreciate all you guys, but yeah, I'm just saying, bro. Let me see that hoodie. What you I haven't wore a hoodie. You it's got old, that on the website? It's old, yeah, Big Bass Energy. This is the champion. Oh, yeah. Big Bass Energy X champion hoodie, kickingtheirbass.com. So it was my lucky hoodie, bro. This is one I used to come out here in the winter and smoke some bags. I would always wear this hoodie, bro. Let me wear it today, and some biggins are biting. I'm just saying, man. Can't be coincidence. I haven't wore a hoodie in a long time now. Now we got some big boys eating. So boys and girls, we are in some heavy brackish water right now. It is so beautiful out here. Like, show them behind you real quick, Cody. Okay. Look at that. It is so nice out here. And we're gonna try to catch some stripers real quick. Like, I've heard about it. I've actually fished over here maybe two times, maybe three at tops. Just trying to catch some bass and striper like over a year ago. Um, and I've had a, multiple people tell me, they're like, if you come around here, around some of the salt water and go deeper in here, you know, you can catch some stripers. So we might give it a shot real quick. We've caught a couple really good bass today and we're just chilling. So I'm like, let's go give it a shot. I don't know. What if we just start slaying them, Cody? Yeah. Like, I'd be happy to catch one or two because I've never, I've never caught one. Just to see a couple of them would be awesome. They're in here. Like I've caught striper before bass fishing, like probably five or six of them, but, um, I've never like tried to fish for him and more importantly thrown a jerk bait for him, which I know they would smoke. So we're going to go in here and just kind of play around and uh, see what happens. I don't know. The water's coming in, so it might be, might be iffy. We got to figure out this is a whole different 
different thing than what we're used to. Yeah. Oh, it's turned, it's turned <gasps> oh, no, you got one! <laughs> what is it? Cody, what is it? He's a bad, he's a big dude! Get him off here! <laughs> what? You ate, you caught him like a top water on that crankbait, yeah, bro. Look at how he's hooked, too. Is a bass? Yes, that's a nice one. Dude, we're way up here, dude. There's no way there's bass up in here. Maybe we're figuring something. Maybe we'll learn something. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited. It's <laughs> a pretty one. <laughs> nice. All right, boys and girls, we're about to head in for the day. We came out for just a few hours this morning. We were playing around. You know, we went out, we caught like five bass, and then we're like, let's go all the way down and just try some new stuff, try to catch some different fish. And then Cody ended up catching that bass on that crank, which was hilarious because we did not expect that. I thought it was like a trout or something, but it ended up being a bass, which was crazy. But we want to do some different stuff on this river, so we might end up coming out and going striper fishing and uh, doing some really neat stuff. So if you guys want to see that, please hit the like button. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.